Welcome, Andrew Mercer here. We're going through the Artistry and Strings book and we are on page six, the first exercise. So let's give it a shot. You notice here we have down bows and up bows. So down bows are marked with a staple and an up bow is marked with a V. Okay, you're gonna see that no matter what music you're playing or violin, you're gonna see that. Okay, so let's just try it. We're on the D string, which would be third from the highest string. So the third string over the D. So we put our bow somewhere in the middle of the bow somewhere like this in the middle and we're going to do two down we're going to do two strokes two quarter notes or two ta's so here we go one two three four rest 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 now you notice when I did the rest, I didn't take my bow off the string. Try to keep your bow on the string, and you may find that you may get a little bit of sound when you're doing that, but you'll get used to it after a while. So try to keep your bow on the strings silent when you're doing the rest. So you can try that one again if you like. Let's move on to number two, bowing on A string. So here we go. Again, we have marked down bows, which are marked as a staple, like a square, and we have up bows, which are marked as a V. So here we go. Let's try that one. One, two, three. Ready, and. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. There you go. Now make sure you get your down bows and up bows the right way. Uh, pay attention to that. That's very important as we move into more difficult music. Okay, let's go on to number three. Two string bow strokes. So we're going to be playing on the D string and on the A string. And you'll notice that it's written on the five lines. The D hang, hangs underneath the bottom line. So we have two of those, two Ds, and we have two As in the second measure. So let's start again with that. One, two, three, four. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Now, a very important thing you'll see in that one is the string changing. You'll notice that when I was changing between the D string and the A string, I was lowering my entire arm. Rest, rest. You see, I'm moving my arm this way. I'm changing strings from my shoulder. I'm not doing, I'm not like, you know, using my wrist to change strings or anything like that. You want to change strings from your shoulder. So make sure you actually rock your arm up and down for that. Okay, that's number three. Let's go on to number four, marching quarter notes. Now quarter notes would be ta, ta, that's what we're doing. Quarter notes are one beat each. So let's start that. We're going to be playing on the D string and the A string. And I want you to watch closely as I, as I rock my arm up and down for string changes. So we're going to start off on number four on the D string. One, two, three, four. I hope you notice that I, as I was moving my arm up and down, I'm changing my strings by rocking from my shoulder. So be very careful of that. And if you find that you're hitting other strings, if you're hitting the A string and you mean to be on the D, it might mean that you need to raise your entire arm. I tell my, I tell my students that this part of your arm here should be relatively flat with the floor. It should be level with the floor pretty much uh, on the D string, A string, and G string. And um, almost like a waiter, like a waiter would have like a napkin draped over the arm. It's almost like that, you know, you want to have your arm flat with the floor. And as you change strings, it should stay relatively flat. I mean, that's not always the case, but most of the time, it should stay level with the floor. So give that a shot. So next video, we're going to go on to the next activity.